So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again for this segment of Author Talk. And in this particular segment, we have author Mr. Shankar Shen with us, who had joined us all the way from Germany. Thank you so much, Mr. Shen, for being here with us. I know that it's difficult to bid the time zone and being available, but we're so glad that you could make it. So, just to set the context, Mr. Shen's books were also displayed in the book fair that just now got concluded, the National Book Fair in Kolkata, which took place in Newtown. And it already got a lot of positive responses. So over to you, Mr. Sen, for a few words from your end. Thank you uh, for having me here. Uh, as you said, uh, sometimes uh, it's difficult to keep track of the time zones, but uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, yeah, it was a really a pleasure journey uh, to kind of portray my books in the Kolkata uh, Book Fair in Newtown this time. And uh, surprisingly, uh, uh, like uh, the response was really uh, overwhelming. Thanks to Literama for that as well. And uh, yes, um, if, if anybody has really visited the stall, so I think this book, if you have seen, uh, Songko Monjuri, uh, it was my first book. Uh, and then the second book uh, is like this one collection of feelings in Bengal it is Onubuti Shangroho so I started with these two books and uh, yes uh, there are a couple of other associations with a lot of global institutions like uh, Panorama Literary Festival which is currently running uh, now so I am the chief coordinator of Germany for that um, it's actually running in this uh, month only from 1st of January to 31st of uh, January um, it's worldwide event and it is also connected with UNESCO and UNICEF uh, and stuff like that. So last time I was awarded there as well and uh, this time they made me uh, chief coordinator of Germany. So I found found this uh, responsibility really uh, exciting and I took it over to kind of uh, deep, uh, I mean uh, deep dive into the literary world because I actually come from a different background as you all know. I am actually an electrical engineer working in the corporate sector in Germany. I had to travel uh, across uh, different continents, yes, but literary world is also equally vast. And uh, there are so many talents across. And I uh, proudly uh, carry this uh, uh, like background of, of Bengal, where the stalwarts like Tagore, uh, you, you just go on naming it. It's, it's not ending. Uh, so somehow uh, it happened. Uh, that I kind of uh, could contribute to the society also in these areas and the responses coming from you was, was really um, inspiration for me to kind of continue my work and as you all know that I am also into the music world uh, because of my father he's a, a established uh, musician um, in this world uh, and uh, I had also been associated with a lot of cultural activities uh, in music as well also uh, globally active so these are the two uh, kind of areas, uh, literature and music, apart from my technical background. And I um, thank everyone and also the Almighty to provide me sufficient energy and strength to kind of continue uh, providing uh, the very best to the society. Absolutely. So you had been an inspiration uh, in more than one way, Mr. Shen. And the response, as you already mentioned, of your book has been fantastic. So maybe before we just end it, why don't you uh, give some message to all our audience? Because this will be put in our YouTube uh, channel. So the reach will also be quite high. And from the yeah. context of the Kolkata Book Fair, the International Kolkata Book Fair also coming up. Uh, why don't you yeah. message in this in this? Uh, season um, of book fairs, if I may put it that, that way. Yeah, that's that's uh, exactly um, I was trying to do. Uh, with this new year, we have landed up uh, in a, a, a time zone with new hopes and, and stuff like that. And uh, forgetting our uh, past and whatever has happened. Uh, if it is good, it's good. Uh, if it is bad, uh, it's a learning for us. So never get uh, demotivated and... Uh, carry on uh, kind of uh, moving forward uh, with whatever uh, talents, with whatever um, uh, successes which we have, because it's all a matter of time. Um, if, there's, uh, if there's something bad happening in your life, uh, be hopeful that uh, this is like a sinusoidal waveform. It will change something great is coming in, uh, in your life. So be positive. 
And if it is good, uh, don't get overwhelmed because um, be prepared, uh, kind of build up on that and so that you can face the uh, difficult times coming uh, ahead. So um, with this strength, I think whatever storm, whatever uh, good things will happen in your life, you will be kind of cool and calm and you can handle everything um, positively and that will give you uh, more strength to kind of bring the strengths or bring the good things in your life and uh, portray it uh, uh, towards the world and uh, that will make you happy and uh, healthy and uh, will fill your life with a lot of positivity. Thank you so much. Thank you for echoing the philosophy of uh, Stoicism. So I think uh, all of us should aim to become that kind of Stoic, which what you quite nicely put by comparing it with the sine wave. That will also definitely yeah. help a lot of our audience yeah. to understand it better. Thank you so much, Mr. Shen. Thank you for being Thank you. here. I'll be stopping the recording now.